cold as Antarctica last night. It wasn't too cold, but man, I haven't, I haven't really been used to the cold. It was like my first night. Really being in the cold, it was like 39 degrees, I think. And man, I was freezing. I had my jacket on, my blanket. I was just there shivering. But we just got done delivery in Seattle. And we're going to be picking. Uh, I found another load. I'm trying to get back to Northern California. So I found a load picking up in Calama, Washington. It's empty glass bottles, wine glass bottles, and uh, they're gonna be delivering to Fairfield, California. And what's weird is that I've done this load like the past three times I've been up here without even like planning it or anything. It's just, every time I call a broker, they're like, oh, it's to this place. And I'm like, oh, going there again, so. I've been here already. We just have to make it there before 1 p.m. And it says right now we're gonna be there at 12, 20 p.m. So we're good on time. And we're about an hour away, so let's go there. First of the month, get up, get up, get up. It's the first of the month, wake up, wake up, wake up. November 1st, baby, it's Wednesday, and uh, we're heading to Fairfield. Gotta deliver these wine bottles, but I just ordered some Starbucks through the app and got me a bacon sandwich. So we're gonna stop right now, right here in Corning, and then we'll probably have like two more hours left after that.
got done delivering in Fairfield and now we're picking up in Vacaville and then we're gonna be delivering to Yuba City today and then after that we're gonna run all the way to Lodi pick up a load and then we're gonna be delivering that to Hermiston Oregon uh, the Walmart there but I won't probably be doing that. Uh, I probably won't be doing that load. It's gonna be my brother taking it. I'm gonna pick it up and then go back to Yuba City, drop, pick him up. And I don't know if I'm gonna go with him yet or if he's gonna go by himself because uh, I'll definitely be out of hours because I just got back from Seattle today. So I don't know if I, I know I won't have hours. That's why I need him. But the thing is, I don't know, he's still a rookie, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it by himself, but he drove with me for a month, so he should be good now. But he's off Wednesdays and Thursdays, so I can use him those days. Door number two. Uh, so yeah, uh, so let's see. Uh, haven't really decided yet. I still have to pick up this load right here in Vacaville. We're at the forgot what this place is called but yeah and what's crazy is that I booked this load or not this one this one from Vacaville to Yuba City it's uh, one of my buddies he gave me this load but then the one that I booked from Lodi California to Hermiston Oregon I booked it with TQL and it's funny because um dude the the Raycon or the driver information thing it said do not wash your feet in the sink and I've never seen that and I'm like what the heck who the hell be washing their feet in the sink they must have a big problem over there in Lodi California where I'm picking up at with people washing their feet in the sink Because it, it can't just be a one-time thing. I don't think they would put that for just a one-time thing. They probably have multiple people having, like, washing their feet in the sink, which is freaking wild. So if you guys are washing your feet in the, in the sink, y'all are hella nasty for that. Stop it. You don't need to be doing that. And also on this freaking rate card, it says don't use, like, an Amazon trailer. You'll be fined $500. Like a bunch of times so that must be another thing they're having problems with is people probably say oh I don't have an Amazon trailer and then end up booking the love but they do and then then they have problems at Walmart probably to be delivered to like deliver or something but yeah man that's wild people washing their feet in the sink Jesus what's another thing that I saw there's something else that I saw too oh yeah today when I was a uh, delivery in Fairfield there was like a sign that said this is how you open the door, you idiot, idiots. And I'm like, damn. People really hate truckers or something. Like calling us idiots. I know there probably is a lot of idiots, but they're starting to, the disrespect is real out here. Shipping, shipping. So yeah, let me find my door real quick. I'm talking too much. Man, I'm freaking all over the place. This place is kind of big. But yeah, this car, this place is called Mariani, Mariani, and I'm here to pick up like nuts and fruits and stuff like that. Oh, there we go! I found it. Cause they have a receiving side and a shipping side, and I was on on the receiving side, so flipped it and came over here and look at where that Swift truck is at. Door number two. Yeah, but for sure, honestly, the loads recently have not been that bad. I see a lot of people saying, oh, the loads are crappy. They were a lot worse, like about the probably the beginning of this year and like a year ago, I think, because diesel was like at what, $7, $6 here in California. And then loads were like terrible and there was barely any. But these past two weeks, well, this week at least, because last week I was driving back from Georgia so I didn't do any loads, but this week it's like, loads are paying like $3. I've seen some for three plus. And then in the high $2, but 
but I booked this load, well, this week, or the last load that I did, it was like $4, and then I came back from, back down from Washington, that one paid about two something, so average was, for round trip, it was like $3, and then, um, this load that I booked, or this load that I'm on right now, I would say over about four dollars and then the load that i'm going to be doing from lodi to hermiston that's about three dollars so still pretty good paying loads on the load board but i mean you do kind of got to wait and just wait for that good one to pop up because there's a lot of loads on there for like two dollars and 30 cents 40 cents and all that but i mean you just got to kind of be smart be patient negotiate and uh yeah but as far as like in two, 2021 when loads were paying like seven dollars a mile i mean that's you're not getting that anymore and i know a lot of like truckers say oh hold off for like five dollars six dollars it's like bro you're not getting that no more like but then again if you have like a brand new truck that your payments are like two thousand dollars it's like holy moly or your trailer is over like a thousand dollars it's like damn now i see why some people aren't making it because if you bought your truck when everything was super high then i'd be a little worried but yeah they're loading me right now but in the meantime you guys i'm gonna go wash my feet in the sink um and then they'll probably come out and give me my paperwork so I think I only got five pellets, so they should be done anytime soon. So I better hurry up and go wash my feet in the sink. Oh, man. They literally loaded me in like five minutes. So didn't have time to wash my feet. Guess they're going to keep stinking. So I'll wash my feet at the next place. Yes, sir. All loaded up. Five pellets. Easy money, easy money. So now we're heading to Yuba City. Drop off these five pallets. But man, the Packard engine hate is real. Why do you guys hate on Packard so much, man? I've had nothing but good experiences so far. My shift is over. Time for this guy to drive. We're heading to Lathrop and then Hermiston, Oregon. Oh no, you gotta connect your red line. Come on, rookie. I can't believe you forgot that. You don't hear the air? Freaking rookie, bro. Connect that shit. Damn, rookie. Oh, and your wheel, the, uh, the freaking wheel chalk thing. Bro, no way you don't even know how to put that on. Oh my goodness. You will? Oh, I think it's already out, maybe? Yeah. Put a strap on it. Strap up. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, boy, strap that shit up. Whoa, pull your pants up. No, you put it up high. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know this, but they make trailers that are freaking 14 feet high. All right, I'll just throw this one in there. Yeah, throw that one on the, stick it on the freaking, the boxes. Stick on there? Yeah, just stick it on there. Go ahead and slap it on there, like you're slapping some cheeks. 
There's like a little thing that you have to peel off on the back. Come on, bro. You can't be that dumb. Oh my God. Right here. Right there, look it. Peel that off. Come on, bro. Oh my God. This guy. These fools. There you go. Zoot it up. All right, now close your door. Make sure it's close from the top. Make sure the numbers match on the freaking seal. I already checked that. Real truckers wear Crocs. Dude, this guy's knocked out. While I was in there taking a shower. 